Ghana, we have toyed with uh, nuclear energy more than any country, you know, uh, um, except South Africa, we were even first before Egypt. And we have dealt with nuclear energy. We have a lot of expertise in that area. A, a lot of our men have served in the IEA. But now the time has come that we are looking at nuclear power. The next phase of Ghana's development agenda is going to be science, technology, innovation, and preservation of the environment. This was revealed by the Ghana Minister responsible for information, Anaboko Joopon Nkrumah. The government of Ghana has decided that science, technology, innovation, and the protection of the environment have to constitute a major pillar in the next phase of our development agenda. Because of that, the government of Ghana has set up a whole ministry for environmental science, technology and innovation. The vision and mission of this ministry is to promote sustainable environmental management and the adoption and application of science and technology innovation through the formulation of policies, monitoring and evaluation of the implementation of sectors plan programs and projects for all national developments. The Ministry of Environmental Science, Technology and Innovation also seeks to the deliver of one, mainstream science, technology and innovation in all socio-economic activities, including commercialization of research outputs. Two, reduced environmental pollution and build climate resilience. And three, promote sustainable, spatial, integrated, balanced, and orderly development of human settlement. So, talking about the commercialization of research output, the government of Ghana is also going to invest 1% of the country's GDP into research only. This is according to the minister responsible for environmental science, technology, and innovation. By the next 10 years, the ethos in the Ghanaian polity will be inside that every Ghanaian will be thinking science. Even if you are not a scientist, you know what scientists think. And our cultural development, our national development will be driven by science technology. Government is currently leveraging STI and placing emphasis on research and its application. And indeed, cabinet has accepted the idea that 1% of our GDP should go into R&D, research and development. If you remember, the Asian Tigers, they developed because they set about some of the, some as high as 2.5% of their GDP to research and development, mainly in the areas of technology and uh, science application. And one of Ghana's problems this ministry is also going to help solve is the electricity power outages. Ghana has been facing this problem for several years because the country is still dependent on the energy source like the coal, petroleum, natural gas and the hydroelectricity, which are more expensive and not climate friendly because they cause air pollution. Now, with the help of the Ministry of Environmental Science, Technology and Innovation, Ghana is in the process to start producing its electricity from the nuclear power, which is more cheaper to produce and also climate friendly because they cause no air pollution. Maybe your question is, what is nuclear power and how can we generate cheap electricity from it. Well, nuclear power was first introduced by Italian physicist called Enrico Fermi in the year 1942. Nuclear energy is the energy in the nucleus of an atom and atoms are the tiny units in the universe. So energies that hold the dense nucleus together contains a huge amount of power and the power can be used to create electricity. But first must be released from the atoms using atomic reactions. So for short, nuclear power is the use of nuclear reactions to produce electricity. The vast majority of electricity from the nuclear power is produced by nucleus fusion of uranium and plutonium in the nuclear power plants. Countries like China, France, Russia, South Korea, Canada, Ukraine, Germany uses nuclear power to generate some percentages of their electricity. And now Ghana is also going to do the same. Let's hear more on that from the Ghana Minister responsible for environmental science, technology and innovation, Dr. Kweku Efriye. There's one area too that I just came from Vienna 
uh, Austria as nuclear power for reliable energy. Ghana, we have toyed with uh, nuclear energy more than any country, you know, uh, um, except South Africa, we were even first before Egypt. And we have dealt with nuclear energy. We have a lot of expertise in that area. A, a lot of our men have served in the IEA in various capacities. capacities. Now we have exhausted almost our, our hydro base. We use, we neglected the nuclear angle because of historical reasons. I don't want to go there. But now the time has come that we are looking at nuclear power because we are, in fact, we've taken steps aside of President Kufo's regime and then the various governments have continued. We have read, uh, uh, bypassed state one in our program and we are in uh, state two, which means we, we have posted, uh, you know, call for, is culminated in the call for expression of interest and several countries, we have even, several countries have, uh, you know, uh, expressed interest about the nuclear installation and the technology that will apply. We have even mapped out some sites in this country that we will have to. Ghana, if we want to develop our alumina, that is our bauxite, and the iron ore, I do not see of any other power source apart from nuclear. So we have taken tentative steps that will let us you know, harness our nuclear capability because we have, if you talk about sub-Saharan Africa, and indeed Africa as a whole, we are one of the countries unbeknownst to most Ghanaians. We are one of the countries that has a lot of technical expertise in this area. So we've done a, what we call program comprehensive report. We have issued, Messi has issued to government for to formally initiate and complete the phase two, which is feasibility studies. Like I said, three new seismic equipment have been procured and installed at all the candidate sites that we have identified and currently transmitting data to the Ghana Geological Service National Data Center so that we will know how they, the weather, they are very good sites for future, uh, you know, uh, selection as the nuclear sites. And again, like I've said, we, we ask for a response to request for interest, RFI, they call it in the nuclear terminology. And Ghana, through the Ministry of Energy, we have received five responses from vendor countries. Thank you very much for watching. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions inside the comment section below. My name always remains Sheriff Haruna. May God bless you and see you in our next video. Makrao.